follow me. Hey there, and welcome back to more Diablo 2, and let's continue to loot Ghislaine. So Your we have killed Andario me. last time, so we're gonna go into loot Ghislaine, and we're gonna see the cinematic as well, at the same time. Damn, the cinematics back in the day from Blizzard were just so great. I mean, the Diablo cinematics were just amazing. Look at this. We traveled east, over the mountains, and into the vast deserts of broken lands. As the days passed, my companion told me of himself, that he had once been a great warrior, and that a dark and secret burden now weighed heavily upon him. We traveled for an eternity across that barren wasteland. How long ago? I couldn't say. And always, Poor camel. a dark cloud seemed to follow us just over the horizon. Finally, the journey ended. We climbed the vast bridge. There below us lay our destination. The shining jewel root lane with a great sea beyond. We made camp that last night. Perhaps it was the warm desert wind or the sound of the ocean, but for the first time in many weeks, I slept. However, the dreams return, but these were clearly not my own. I beheld the vision of a great man, the mage, Talrasha. You were there too, Tyrael. I remember seeing you in my dream. His brethren had cornered a great demon, Baal, Lord of Destruction, who had been set loose upon the world. And they attempted to imprison the demon within a sacred stone. Yet when their attempts failed, Talrasha selflessly volunteered to contain the demon within himself, completing the prison. He instructed his brethren to bind him within the tomb, buried under the sand, there to wrestle with the demon. Now you know what I seek, Marius. This is my brother. Sleep now. We set out with the dawn. The next morning, we walked over the hill toward Lut Kulain. I had no idea then of the horrors that were in store for me there. Now the cinematics got a uh, HD quality. They look way, way better this and uh, the resurrected version. Because I remember when I played the game when I was a kid and I was watching the cinematics. They were good. Don't doubt me, they were good, but they're way better right now because the quality is just better. And you can see clearly the faces, which back in the day was a little bit more pixelated and you couldn't see the face of Diablo or the Wanderer as clearly as you can see it now. Okay, so let's talk to Jelhin. Greetings, honored traveler. I am Jaren, Lord oh, of Utgolain, and I bid you welcome to my fair port city. I'm glad to know that once again, caravans are free to travel through the Western Pass. For some time now, we have been under siege by an evil power that I cannot identify. Strange, it all began when a dark wanderer came this way, looking for the tomb of Talrasha. No one knows exactly where Talrasha, Keeper of Baal, is entombed, but it is certain to be far out in the desert. Now my people whisper tales of the dead rising from their tombs, and horrible creatures lurking amongst the moonlit dunes. Even I have witnessed things which I cannot explain. I've ordered the port closed and all trade ships moored until I am sure that my city is safe. Atma, the tavern keeper, has an important mission for you. Go see her immediately. You'll find her on the other side of town. Now I must return to the palace. I apologize, but I can't invite you in. 
Things are rather a mess right now. Greetings, honored. Mm. Mashif is an honorable man, but I fear that he is growing impatient with me about impounding his ship. I dare not tell him what's really happening in this city. For trade in magic and the like, see Drognan or Lysander. Drognan is the wisest man I know, without equal in magic and ancient lore. Poor Lysander is nearly deaf, but he's a reliable potion chemist. For travel back west, see Wariv, whom you already know. Our own Farah is a fine and honest armorer, and she can heal wounds as well. Elzix is the innkeeper, and may also have some items to trade. Grays, the mercenary captain I hired to secure the gates of Loot Golain, keeps order in town as well. There are others here too. I'm sure you'll meet most of them. Just look around. Yeah, out of all of the acts, I probably like the second one the most. The journey to get the cube and, uh, and all of the other components was like uh, a little bit boring, but nonetheless, the zones were pretty now great. Now that Andariel is dead, I can return and outfit the rogues properly. Once I've made some trades here, I'll be free to head back to their monastery. Let me know if you want to travel along. There used to be a lot of brothels here. I guess the trouble scared all the women away. Or maybe they're safe in Jaren's palace. <laughs> sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there, I like the city a lot as well. It, it was so unique back in the day to see the desert and all. That's why I love, fell in love with video games, because you could see a lot of more worlds and Greetings. I'm stuff like that. I'm the captain of this ship here. I make port runs around the Twin Seas and occasionally out to Kingsport in Westmarch. I haven't sailed anywhere lately, though. Jaren has ordered me to stay docked here in case of emergency. I hope uh, that uh, we will be able to ship. visit Loot Galame in, in the new Diablo game. There's something Jaren's not telling me. I just don't know what. To my eye, things here in town don't look that bad. Especially since War Eve's caravan route opened up. Mm -hmm. Let's talk to all of the characters and then we're gonna continue with the quests. Yes. There is something about Farah that troubles me. Her manner is strange for a lonely desert maid. What? I know much about the ancient religions. I was trained as a paladin of Zakarum in the Eastern Koras Temple many years ago. It is an honor to serve you. Warriv may not remember me, but I helped him out when I was a young paladin. There's no need for me to remind him. The rewards for honor will not come in this life. She doesn't talk much. How do I know I can trust you, hmm? Uh, you hmm. may be as shifty as that pack rat Elzix who runs the inn. But if you need a potion, though, I suppose I can make you one. For a price, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I've sold many seasickness potions to Mashif over the years. It seems that many of his passengers don't take well to the rocking of his ship on the open seas. Oh, seasickness, huh? Welcome, young sorceress, to Loot Golain. I hope your skills are a match for the horrors that lie beyond the city's walls. A mage of your limited experience may find the evil too great to withstand alone. My name is Drognan, and I know what you're up against, my friend. You ought to look over my inventory of items for trade. Yeah, he's, he has like better stuff now. Better many potions than he is. Approach and let's... The Haradrim were a powerful order, although maybe too prideful. Tal Rasha was one of their order, and that should tell you something. Any man who believes himself strong enough to contain one of the prime evils is in for a rude awakening, I should think. Ooh. True. I bet you wonder how this town manages to stay safe with all the trouble going on out in the desert. Well, I can tell you that it's got nothing to do with the local town guards. They're all in the palace for some reason. Jaren hired me and my mercenaries to help keep the peace around here. We're not cheap, but we're the best this wasteland has to offer. 
Ah, Elzix is quite a character. I had a few run-ins with his band of outlaws in my younger years. <laughs> now he's as settled as the dunes out there. The Desert Rain Inn is his pride and joy these days. Okay, let's hire a Greetings. new follower, because... Uh, defense, the active or increases the defense of your, your party. Uh, increases the attacks rating. Defiance. Slowly regenerates life of you and your party. I think we're gonna go with the defiance. So Emilio will be our first follower. And we need to equip him with gear. Hmm. You look like a sturdy adventurer. You know, I used to be quite the scoundrel in my day. I led the fiercest group of bandits who ever terrorized these sands. Mm. Nowadays, I run this here in and pretty much stay out of trouble. <laughs> my days of adventuring are behind me. I miss the brothels that used to do business here. You know, all of the ladies fled to the palace as soon as the trouble in the desert started. You'd think that they could at least come out once in a while now that Grays and his men have things relatively under control. Do they, though? I guess we'll find out. Oh. Halt! You may not pass. You may not pass. Yeah, let's go talk to the other two and the lady should give us the quest. Atma. I don't expect this of you, but if you want to help me, I would be grateful. In the sewers below our city, there looks a horrid creature that hungers for human flesh. The creature has killed many, including my son and my husband. If you destroy it, I will reward you. Please, be careful though. That beast has taken enough from us already. The sewer entrance is through the trapdoor, just up the street. Elsix and I have reached an understanding over the years. He sends travelers to me for drink and entertainment, and I send them back to him for a soft bed. The travelers often trade their wares for lodging. The creature makes its lair in the tunnels beneath the city. He butchered my husband and son. I simply cannot bear to talk about it. Okay, I got a quest. <sighs> I don't know why you people keep pestering me. Graze seems to have this place locked down nice and tight. Not that I couldn't have done the same. I've proven my valor in combat plenty of times. <laughs> sure, I hear lots of what goes on. Did you hear about the harem guilds? They were the only ones allowed to hide out in the palace when the raid started. <laughs> it figures. Hey, don't touch my drink, or I'll bore a hole into your skull with my thumb. <laughs> okay, dude. Calm down, son. No need for violence. Yeah, let's talk about the. There are two entrances to the sewers, I believe. One of them is right near here, down by the water beneath the docks. I can see it from my ship, and you can bet I keep an eye on it every night. Okay. Yeah, let's quickly talk about this and then and then we'll go and do the quest. The one entry point is here, the other is here. Deckard Kane. The Herodrum used to mummify their highest mages and infuse them with spells that would allow them to protect their tombs, even after death. I have no idea why one of them would be acting so malevolently. Perhaps Drognan or Farah would know more about this. I believe that the creature you refer to is one of the ancient Horadric mummies from the tombs that lie buried beneath the desert sands. It is unusual for one of his kind to be so far away from his resting place. I sense in this entity a restless and malevolent spirit. Oh nice, I never Greeting. listened to most of these though. I hear that beast is after body parts. Does he eat them? Ooh, ghastly. Yeah, because usually I would just hear like the main story from the main dude and I wouldn't like talk to the others about it. Farah and I have been talking about the creature recently. Mm. From my studies, I have deduced that it is Rodiment the Fallen, 
an ancient Haradric mummy that has for some reason left his tomb to prey on mortals. I'm doing some more research now. If you check back later, I may have some more insight as to his nature. Hmm. But it's nice that there's like a, a little bit more of explanation. I've personally found some of that devil's victims washed up out of the sewer. Often they are missing limbs or a head, and their bodies have always been skinned. At first, the creature raided the town at night. That's how Atma lost her family. Now we've got him barricaded in the sewers. You're safe up here on the surface, but every now and again some fool wants to be a hero and heads down to the waste tunnels with a pig sticker. <laughs> <laughs> a pig sticker. Good evening. I hear that the creature kills his victims in order to hack off their limbs. I guess that makes me a less likely candidate, eh? It's <laughs> okay. <laughs> Worf is the only one left to talk to. Because Jiren is there and you can't reach him. For quite a while. You probably reach him when you get this quest. Good evening. I've heard tales of walking corpses out in the desert at night. Though I've never actually seen one. Hmm, interesting. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Wait, meh. Is the dude in the red gear has something else to tell us? Because he said, come back and I'll tell you more. Farah and I have been talking about... No, it's the same dialogue. Okay, let's go into the sewers thing. Sewers level one, let's go. This was probably my least favorite quest in the game. Sewers are pretty big. And you had to go through a lot. Oh no. I remember the my worst or oh, least favorite place was in uh, Act 3. Where you need to get the Kaleem's brain if i'm not mistaken or heart it was somewhere in the middle of a jungle there's like a big sewer and you have to go for it and that place was just so phenomenally big and you have to like search quite a while until you find the level two of the sewer oh shit and only then can you Reach and get the item that you see. Oh, shit. Okay. Try not to get poisoned. <laughs> and then not get shot. And it should be damn fine. Who goes there? Damn, he's an expensive one, huh? That was a nice gold, man. Nice experience. Ooh. The place these back, but too late now. What the? Dude, uh, why was my follower not doing anything? <laughs> he was just standing there watching. Oh, really? Emilio, that's why I hired you, to just go and attack them. And oh, dang it, Emilio, what the hell were you doing, eh, boy? Good day. Just watching me die? That's not why I hired you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, my spell, I get, like, interlocked, staggered by the enemy, so I need to be a little bit more careful. Milio, do your job. Dude, even he dies. Okay, okay, come down. Ugh! Don't die, don't die, don't die.
Damn, these killers are a little bit tough. There's so many, what the hell? Not enough mana. Oh really, what the? No, honestly. I thought the frost snow was worth hitting them. Really now? It is easy to die in this game. I, I didn't think that was that easy. That was big much. Damn, Emilio didn't do. Need some help? Well enough, Ivor. He just got there and died instantly. Instantly he died. I guess I should have bought like more potions. That is true. Very true. Careful. It's body. Even kiting them is not as easy. Time, boys. Skeletoonies. Skull pile. I need mana. I need mana. Oh, I heard it the first time. <laughs> Get some mana. Oh, come on. Emilio, you need to start hitting the targets, man, because I bought you for some damage. Not to clown around. Oh, damn it, really? Oh. So get more. Thanks. Not enough mana. Not enough mana. I just hear complaining nothing more. <laughs> oh damn, really? What the? I don't remember this being that difficult. <laughs> There's plenty of fools walking around. Good day. Oh, I guess he needs armor though. All the damage. Yeah, I also need like a lot of potions. Hello. One, two. What the hell? Okay. At least the potions are a little bit better now. Yes, citizen. Yes, citizen. Next quest is going to be to form the cube, and it's second quest is basically like a free parter. It seems like you just need like the same strategies like in Diablo 1. Stay close to a door, stay close to a gap, and you attack. And to be the case. Okay. Give him a helmet so he at least has something to defend himself. Um, we need a better field board. Give him some that armor, throw that out. Put the boots out. The rest can stay. There are a little bit too many of the archers. I need mana. I need mana. Not enough mana. Uh, 
I had to feed him a lot of mana. I mean, health potions. Or he would have died. I don't need him to die. I need him alive. I'll get the rejuvenation potion. Go to level. Drink. Still not enough to get that one. What level am I on? 14. Okay, level 17 and level 18. I need one telekinesis and teleport. At those levels. A healing potion. Smack you good. Whoa. They just keep dropping bows though. Dude, this was so clo much closer. What? The? Now I don't remember if, he, if there's there are three levels or two levels of this. Oh damn, no. Damnation, boys. Don't die! Oh no. No, no, no. Why did he have to die? Oh, that was a bloody miss. The boy! Don't need the arrows. The rest can stay. Emilio was too weak, dude. Maybe I should have brought the defensive one, though. Oh, dear. Yeah. Oh, god dang it. How you like them frost arrows, boys? Goddamn skeleton, stop moving. Oh! Yep, I'm a fish. Oh, come on, mate. Damn it, boys, too many of you are here. Oh, come on. Jeez Louise, there were so many of them. Oh no. I'm getting most of them, they know. A dead end. Really now. Mummies are a little bit annoying because they after they die after a few for a second or a few they leave a poison trail. Exploding shrine. Exploding shrines are pre actually pretty good because you can 
collect the potions and then you sell them and those are kind of selling for pretty amount. I need mana. I heard ya. If you need mana, we're gonna go grab some mana, Dion. Yes. Greetings. Yeah, the mana does run out pretty quickly. Uh, sell it. Very good, very good. Yeah, let's good save day. without a follower for a little while. I don't want to run away though. If the follower ain't doing much, he just dying and he just costs me money then. After he does that. Oh, right, and okay, that will be useful. We can gear him up a little bit. He might deal more damage. Okay, enough poison, boy. Not enough mana. Really? I had to step into that. Ah! Nope. <laughs> Got him. I am overburdened. Orange seems both of those missed really. Now, how in the hell did that happen? Oh, I'm getting a pretty amount of gold. Ah! There is a level for you then. Yeah, there is. I'm getting it. At least it's close. Wait, did that? Did they teleport? Maybe I should hire him now. How may I help you? I placed it there. That's all the wand. Greetings. Greeting. Greeting. I'll okay. put that to good 27 use. Twenty-seven to forty-eight. Okay. Damage is good. Very good, very good. The goo pile. That was a pretty good idea. Use the frost snow. I need mana. Ah! Okay, now at least he's doing his job. Finally. 
You decided to do your work, huh? A nephron and a belt. Take the belt because the belt is gonna. Yeah, a bigger belt. Oh, calm down. Yeah, at least the poison doesn't last like forever. After a while, it disperses. Don't need the stamina. Right now. Mm. Eight so long. Yeah. Not that good. the full Shall we need the stamina potion? Drink it up. I need mana, not enough mana. Oh really? Dude, the mana runs out so quickly. shrines this here I mean once only drops shrines <laughs> well not drops but you just run past them and then a shrine dude this is like the biggest and the most shrine infested bunch I've played through I am overburdened I think that's the paladins So we had to go down. It's kind of weird. Or maybe it's even there. And I'm getting a lot of rubies then and, and, and chipped diamonds and all of that. A lot of gems. Got a little gems. The bitch is dropping. And poppin? Huh? I am overburdened. Okay. Oh, it is here. Okay, we need to kill him. Dude, he's not receiving damage. What the hell?
Get him. Not enough mana. Get him. How come he's so tank? Thanks. Thanks. Ooh. What a misguided monster. So do. Okay, let's invest one point in telekinesis. I can't carry anymore. I can't carry anymore. This to be dropping lots of interesting things, huh? I can't carry anymore. Book of skill. New skill unlocked. I'll put that. Roderick Scroll. Throw the scroll to the cane in Loot Galane. Yeah, we need, we need to go back to town. Identify items, get some more items. Hello. Good job, mate. At night out on my ship. I was often awakened by that fiend's awful moaning. I'll bet I rest easier now. Mm -hmm. Not in town. Not in town. Zekar Kane? Ah, the lost Herodric scroll. What a fortunate turn of events. As the last living Herodrim, I alone have knowledge of its meaning. Now, to read the Herodric runes it bears. Hmm. The Herodric mages, after binding Bale within Tal Rasha, magically sealed off his burial chamber from the mortal realm. Those same mages also crafted fearsome Herodric staves and imbued them with the special power to open the chamber's hidden door. After nearly losing one to the thievery of a rogue sorcerer, they divided all the Herodric staves into two parts wooden shaft and metal headpiece hiding them separately to safeguard them the horodrum foresaw our current plight and designed the hiding places to reveal themselves to worthy heroes like you collect both parts of a horodric staff and unite them using a horodric cube then you may enter tal rasha's burial chamber okay. If you haven't already, tell Atma that Rodament is dead. It may help to ease the weight of her mourning. Mm -hmm. Good morning. Hello. Ah, the lost Herodric scroll. Okay, we didn't hear about that already. Yeah, pick the mask. We'll give I'll that, that helmet to, to him because this one was worse. As far as the quality goes, sell the shield, sell that, sell that, sell that, sell this, sell both of the scrolls. As you have helped Atma and all of us, so shall I help you. Okay, place all of these. Extra gold for monsters. We don't need that. Good morning. Uh, little of what I am able to hear is of any value. But Radaman's death, <laughs> however, is news worth hearing. I'm sure Atma will be glad to hear of this. No one seems to know about the heroic staff, though. Good morning. From what you tell me, it would seem that Radaman was bent on the task of reviving his own mummified corpse with the flesh of the living. This is very unusual indeed. It takes an incredible magic power to alter the singular purpose of an undead mind. Perhaps there is a power at work here, which is beyond my kin. Maybe. Oh wait, I need a potions. Please show me some potions. Start to each character. You've killed Rodman, eh? That's quite a nice piece of work. If you ever need a job as a mercenary, I'd be happy to sign you up. Yeah, you better give them for free. 
Welcome to the desert. We ran into one of those old tomb guardians when I ran with my bandits. I know they aren't easy foes to face, so you sure have my respect. Have you told Atma yet? Not yet. We're running around telling the townsfolk about it. You may not pay. You may not pay us. You may not pay us. Yes. Oh! God dang it. That was a misclick. Uh, well Whoops. I like how his clothes actually change in, in different cities. Okay. Good day. Oh, Atma, let's talk to yes. Gigalush. Whoa, whoa. Radamant the Fallen, is it? I've fallen off many a bar stool. No one calls me. Geglash the Fallen. They might go so far as to say, Geglash, <laughs> you've fallen. <laughs> they say that the taste of vengeance is bittersweet, but I find it to my liking. In addition to my undying gratitude, I have spoken on your behalf with the rest of the townspeople. The merchants have agreed to show their gratitude by offering their wares and services at lower rates. Oh, Jaren wants to see you too. You'll find him in front of the palace. Mm. Quest completed. Troubles. They say that the taste. Um, no new dialogue, I presume. Okay, maybe that's not too bad. But there is no new dialogue. Let's go collect the other items I wanted. I'll take that too. Please. And we're gonna continue next time because this was a longer quest basically. I didn't think this is gonna take a while. Well, because of the dialogues most likely. But anyways, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, consider subscribing to the channel, leaving a like, leaving a comment, ringing that notification bell. And I'll be seeing you around in the next one. Have a nice day or evening and I'll see you around. Bye bye.